Hello and welcome to the first inaugural episode of The Floor Game. I'm your host, Chuck Walton. I'm joined by 10-time NBA vet, two-time All-Star, and two-time NBA champion, Norm Nixon. Norm? Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to have you. Now, for those who do not know how the show's going to work, The Floor Game is a show where we grab several NBA players, but mainly our mainstay, Norm Nixon. We let him take the floor on all the hottest topics from social media to Kobe and the Lakers to LeBron to if Derrick Rose can stay healthy. But today, of course, we're going to start, since we're in L.A., with the Los Angeles Lakers, your former team. Yes, yes. And we're going to talk about the struggles that they are having right now. Now, a lot of people are going to attribute the struggles to Kobe Bryant. He's a high-volume shooter. What is going on with the Los Angeles Lakers? How do we fix Kobe? How do we fix the Lakers? Yeah, yeah, I'll preface this by saying, I mean, Kobe is incredible to come back from the type of injuries that he's come back from and to play at the level that he's able to play at. Um, it's really attributed to his work ethic and his tenacity. But for this Laker team, in order for this team to be successful, I think uh, it's going to depend upon how well he balances being a primary scorer to how well he gets his other players going. If he continues to be the guy um, to take most of the shots in the fourth quarter, uh, go a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, his team is not going to be very successful. Would this team be better than they are right now with their current record? They're off to one of the slowest starts in franchise history. Would they be better if they had Lewis Randall on the court, even though he is a rookie? Well, I expect him to be uh, uh, very good. I mean, I was pleasantly surprised by how well he played, his ability to handle the ball, his ability to get an open floor and get other teams out. Now, would the team be better right now? You don't know because he was coming off the bench. Uh, I do think he would have been a good big contributor. But again, success with this team is going to be based upon Kobe's ability to change his game at this stage. Now, you say at this stage, we all know Kobe, father time is, is, is running him down. Kobe is a player that is always going to play one style of basketball. <laughs> how, how can Kobe Bryant, in his, in his mid to late 30s at this point in his career, change his game? Uh, it's very difficult for a player this stage of his life to change his game, but I think with the way his team's playing, if he wants this team to win and turn the corner, he's going to have to allow those other guys to develop and become better players. I'll just use Booz in particular. Booz early in his career was a 2010 guy. Uh, he went to Chicago, didn't play very well in Chicago because he played with another guy, Derrick Rose, that dominated the ball. But I think uh, if he become, becomes a focal point in this offense, if he allows the other guys then these guys to play more, to contribute more. I think in the long run, as we get deeper into this, they will be better if he distributes the ball and create opportunities for those guys. Now with Kobe, how much time do we see left for him to be with the Lakers? Do you think he's in the way? Some people feel like it's time for Kobe to go. They might as well start fresh. It seems like they're headed for a lottery pick the next year, 2015, and the draft class that is loaded from top to bottom. Is it time for Kobe to go? We, we all know what he means to LA, what he means to the Lakers, but is it, is it time for Byron to be like, look, Kobe, <laughs> let's try to get you in the front office like Mike did, but let's keep you with the team that you played for? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a former player, so it's hard for me to say kick a player off the court. But I think at this stage, you know, you really don't want him to uh, play and hurt himself or really destroy his legacy. So it, I would say for Kobe, just try to, uh, again, change the game. If he changes his game, he could stretch out this year to two years, to two years, I won't say two years. years. We'll say two years. He's played 19, this is his 19th year. So at some point in time, you know, you have to pass the reins down. 